Um, I write a lot about African-American issues and African-American Republicans in particular, and I wanted to know if, and I'm sorry if, if you already covered this, I was a little late because of a deadline, um, if you think the Supreme Court's voting rights decision will end up having a beneficial impact on the Republican Party in local elections, and the second part of that, is there the potential also for a national backlash in terms of minority turnout on the other side, which we kind of saw with some of the um, voter ID laws? Yeah. I don't, I don't think it'll have big consequences in local elections, and I, I don't think there'll be a big backlash. I think it's going to be, you know, look, uh, the idea that there are 13 uh, states in the old Confederacy that somehow or another are still bastions of racism is, I, I think, ridiculous in our age. And uh, uh, Bush did sign the renewal of this specific provision uh, because Congress passed it, but we were dubious about it, its necessity. And I think it is right that we treat every state in the union the same with regard to its election laws. We don't require, you know, um, states in the middle, in the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic or the West Coast to pre-clear their uh, election law changes with the federal government. I don't think we need to in the old states of the Confederacy, particularly where we've seen uh, a dramatic increase in uh, minority non-white turnout, non-white registration. 